one of the most um, sort of interesting and uh, areas which might result in huge economic benefits is the bullet train. We were talking about it a couple of months back. Uh, it's not really been in the news too much in the recent past. Where exactly is the bullet train and what are the economic benefits? The bullet train is uh, progressing very well. Um, as we speak, I think we have covered al almost 284 kilometers, eight uh, reverse bridges we have completed, stations are on the verge of completion. The Maharashtra section also is now progressing very rapidly. The first uh, undersea tunnel work has already started. So the progress is very good. And we should not look at bullet trains simply as a transportation project. It has to be seen from integrating economies. I'll give you the example of Japan. The first bullet train in Japan was uh, commissioned in 1960s, 1969 or 1970. Um, if you look at that bullet train, basically starting from, let's say, Tokyo, Nagoya, Kyoto, Kobe, and Osaka, these five major economies, they get integrated into one economy. Same thing will happen in India in the first uh, corridor that we are doing here. From Mumbai, Thane, Wapi, Baroda, Surat, Anand, and Ahmedabad, all these economies will become one single economy. So you can uh, have breakfast in Surat, go and complete your work in uh, Mumbai and come back and have dinner with your family in uh, the night. So that's the power of the call. And would uh, the fares undercut airfares? Most of the places, wherever bullet train projects have gone, practically bullet trains have taken 90 plus percent uh, transportation share. For example, in Japan, between Tokyo and Osaka, um, I would guess it is something like 96, 97 percent by bullet train and 5% by other yeah. boats.